So we back with another video, and today we got y'all boys with another ranking builds video. Today we got y'all boys finally. What are y'all favorite ranking build video every single year? The two-way builds. And today we're gonna be giving y'all builds that can not just score the ball, but also can lock people down. So this is gonna be builds that not just a lockdown, but a great offensive build as well. So it's only three builds I really could make sure to put on this list. It probably could be more, but I know for a fact these are the three best builds in the game for two-way builds. So yeah, if you guys want more videos like this, all you gotta do is like the video. Hope you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, if you guys want more videos like this, put in the comments down below. What else do you think type of builds I could rank? But yeah, let's hop into it. Let's go! Alright, so hopping into it. So when it comes to all three of these builds, I tried to make sure they was as balanced of a lockdown build and as balanced of a scoring build possible. So there was minimum things I was trying to get on every single one of these builds. But some of these builds, it was just tougher to get those things on. So let's hop into it. So you're going to be um, a small forward. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, hand and number is really up to you. When it comes to the height, we're going to be 6'7", 222 on the way. 7'4", wingspan, bike type is up to you. Now, when it comes to the build, you're going to end up with 13 finishing, 17 shooting, 18 playmaking, and 22 defensive. So when I was making the build, not only did I try to get as many attributes as possible, but also try to get as many badges as possible so that when you was adding your badges you could easily make sure that you had enough badges for all the tier threes it's that simple so when it comes to the build i tried to have every single attribute as high as possible that i cared about mostly on a two-way build so when it comes to this build you're gonna have an 86 driving up with a 78 layup that's gonna be good to have content but have enough badges as well because of the layup layups so be able to have these the 13 and be able to get four more to be able to have gold when let's take off cord and then you can put on like a posterizer then when it comes to the shooting you're gonna end up with an 83 view ball i want to have an 85 honestly so you can have silver limitless it was just tough to do that and have everything else on the build but yeah we get 83 three ball with a 69 mid range to have 17 shooting with a 75 free throw for 55 you have a 75 70 pass actually i want that wanted this to be a 75 on all the bills but it was just kind of tough to do that so you can get lebron james pass style but yeah we just ended up with a 70 with a 90 ball handle and a 75 shooting ball so this is not really like a guard build this is kind of like an off ball guard build where you can create for yourself and you can play great defense so you're gonna have a 78 interior defense so if you want to play hands up defense they buff this really heavily this season so it's a lot easier now should not be as much of a skill gap for a lot of y'all i don't know why y'all needed that to be buffed honestly if you were like at least a decent height with decent interior defense honestly because i had no issues the only thing i felt like that was an issue was blocking certain like limitless takeoff dunks on six nines but besides that i think that's still pretty good in the game i'll be honest but um, you have a 92 permitted defense, so you're going to be able to have gold challenger and gold clamps with Hall of Fame minutes, Hall of Fame off ball pass, Hall of Fame ankle braces. Really kind of wanted to be able to have pick dodger Hall of Fame, but it just is what it is. Um, steel, 95, so you can be able to have glove and interceptor both gold as well. Um, if you want to get this to a 94 so you can have Hall of Fame pit dodge, you would probably have to lower something here and there, but it just is what it is. 75 blocks so you can get chase down blocks. Um, so, yeah, get that gold. That's going to allow you to have that for where it is. Then you have a 66 defensive rebound just so that you can hand get rebounds and for extra badges. Now, when it comes to the physicals, I tried to make sure that most of it got to at least the 80. If you don't know, strength is very important for bumping people on defense. People don't realize this, but you get way more aggressive bumps. On my lockdown build, I made I have a 90 uh, strength, and it's very, very impossible to blow by a build with a 90 strength because majority of guards don't have a 90 plus strength only way you're blown by that is if you have clamp breaker max to negate my clamps and have a higher strength that's the only way you're negating that the only other way you got to go around me it's that simple you got to find a way so i tried to get the strength as high as possible that's at an 80 a lot of guards don't really have over 80 strength either so you should be fine with that with a 78 acceleration so you can be able to speed boost as fast as possible with this build because i did get a 75 to so ball on this build with a 90 ball handle so you will have a lot more dribble moves than you will on the other two builds but you only have a 75 speed ball which is all you really need so you can have the michael jordan dribble style and you have a 78 acceleration to go alongside that with a hall of fame quick for steps so you're gonna have really good speed boost and then the 80 speed just to be able to move as fast as possible off the ball it's really good to have 80 speed i really want that to be higher but it was just tough and then you have an 80 vertical so you can have that alongside like the rebound 
rebound and the blocks so that you can get even more rebounds and blocks. It's that simple, and then you have a 90 stamina. Takeaways wise, go in the with slasher, shot creator, sharp, and lockdown takeover as your options. You could go with this combo. You could go with this combo if you want to be more towards like a lockdown type. I would definitely still go with slasher though. I'm not gonna lie, and that's the takeaways. I would end up going with and the build comes out as. Similar two shades of OG Ananobi, Gerald Wallace, Mikael Bridges, and the build comes out as, I ain't gonna lie, we gonna probably get those three pretty much again in this video, but yeah, it comes out as a two-way, three-point shot creator. All right, so next. So next build is going to be coming in at number two for the two-way builds. Now, this is gonna be probably the only time the entire year we do a list where the number one build is by far the best build of the three and it's not a 6-9 build. So let's hop into it. Small forehand numbers of few. So the number two build is a 6-9 build. This is going to be very rare that this ever happens. But yes, as a two-way build that can actually be a lot down and score for itself, this is the number two. Is it bad? No! It's the number two two-way build. But it's just a better build at one. And yeah, 6-9, 206, 7 for 7, body type is up to you. Now when it comes to the build, you're going to end up with 12, 16, 20 and 22 now with the 12 you only need silver posterizer because you get limits takeoff and silvery in like the first two tiers so you only gonna need four more badges to be able to get posterized so you can core that and then use that however you want it to on a tier one and tier two so you have an 80 layup, layup to go for it like layup packages but also to get more badges and then 86 driving up so you have content dumps and get gold limits takeoff then when it comes to the shooting you have a 69 mid range with an 82 three ball 82 three ball is gonna be really like the best bang for your butt for catching shooting but you can create for this um, you can get bronze agent threes. I kind of did want to have an 83 three ball, but to have a 90 steal on a 69, you have to go max wingspan. If you go max wingspan, you cannot have an 83 three ball. It's that simple. Another thing, people were saying that they nerfed the ability to shoot with lower than 85 three point rating builds. I personally haven't seen that difference. I've seen difference on a lot of different things when it comes to 25% up. That kind of can be heavily contested now. I don't see it as much on the perimeter, but in the interior, I do see that now. Um, but there's been a lot of the different changes that you can see, but this is one change I have not personally seen myself. You may have experienced it. I know kind of why that might, you might have experienced it, I haven't. But yeah, it just kind of is what it is. Um, 69 mid range, that's gonna allow you to get an extra badge, and 77 for just 5v5. Then you have a 75 pass accuracy. This is gonna allow you to have a LeBron James pass style, which the other two builds won't have. 6 9 Z you're just able to have a lot more prepper of stuff. Then you have an 87 ball handle to have like all this stuff gold, but you won't have Hall of Fame quick step where the other two will. And then you have a 75 speed ball for like the John Morant and stuff like that. Then defensively, why is it a two-way build? 80 interior defense, 88 pretty defense, 90 steel, and 93 block. The only thing I say about this one pretty much the same interior defense pretty much around the same rebounding capabilities but you have the highest block of the three um you have the lowest steal of the three you have the lowest primitive defense of the three now will you be able to play great defense with this build yes you'll still be able to play great on ball defense with this primitive defense you'll be able to still get a lot of plucks with this steal and you'll still be able to play really good passing lanes with this steal but you will be able to have way better defensive ability when it comes to in the paint and getting blocks with this build than the other two now when it comes to physicals you're gonna have pretty well balanced physicals you're gonna have an 82 speed 78 acceleration 78 strength that's gonna be a really good combination when i add that strength as high as possible so you can get even more bumps and if you want to use that on offense to blow by people then you have an 87 vertical to go alongside that block rating to get even more blocks and to go alongside that defensive rebound rating to get even more rebounds and to go alongside the dunk rating to get contact dunks then you have a 90 stand I really want that vertical to be a 90 though, I'm not gonna lie, but to get everything else on the build, it was just kind of tough. Now, you could have tried to lower this, but I'm gonna be honest, you lower this so much, you're still not gonna get it. So it's like, that's just kind of what it is. Take what's wise though, you're gonna end up with slasher, sharp, lock down, and rim take if you do want that as an option. Those are pretty much the best four options for a two-way build in my honest opinion, because now you can be able to have like, maybe you wanna get stuff blocks or paint intimidation, but y'all can still get the options of lock down takes but you still get the options of sharp takes, but you still get the options of slasher takes. So it's really cool what you can go with here. It's not really no correct choice for this one, I'm gonna be honest. You could really change this up as you go, depending on how you wanna play with it, I'm gonna be honest. But for just right now, that's what I would go with, the finishing moves and limitless range. But depending on the situation, depending on what you're playing, cause this can play the three and three, this can play the two and three, this can play the two and twos, this can play the one and twos. This can be like a three, a four, or a two and the five v five. You can play a lot of different ways so this is probably like really versatile in the ways you can play with it but i do think it still is the number two build in the game for the two-way builds and then last but certainly not least 
the build I actually honestly believe is the best two-way build in the entire game. Let's hop into it. Small four, hand and numbers up to you. When it comes to the build, you're going to be 6'8", 194, 745 wingspan, bite type is up to you. 6'8", in my opinion, are the most versatile lockdown builds you can make in the game. And I've said that multiple times. But when it comes to making a two-way build, it goes up to even another level. So let's hop into it. So you're going to end up with 13, 18, 18, and 22. Now, with the 22, is it going to have as high of a block rating as the last one? No, but for a lockdown, you're still going to be able to have Hall of Fame chase down on this. So you're still gonna have that. But you're gonna have glove and interceptor. And those not top tier three badges like they are on a six seven. Those are tier two badges. But you still have to get clamps and challenger as a tier three badge. That's one thing that the six nines have over it, but they don't have the ability to get those badges. Gold. So you have that over that. But you also could get your rebound to a 92, but they wouldn't be able to get to like 93 to be able to have gold, anchor, stuff like that. But you still have Hall of Fame chase down artists, so you really can't complain. But yeah, you don't have the craziest interior defense. So if you want to get that even higher, you can lower this. Um, so yeah, you can lower this, get this up even more. So that's really on you how you want to go about that. Get this up even more. You can do it like that. Um, and that's still gonna be kind of the same, but you do have a little bit better into your defense if you want to do it like that. This does have the lowest strength of the three bills, but I will be honest. It's not a lot of bills that you're gonna go against that's gonna have a 74 plus strength. There will be bills. It's gonna be more likely to have over a 74 strength than there is to have a 78 or 80, but there, I'm gonna be honest. It's gonna, it's, majority of bills you're gonna go against, you're gonna be able to have still really good bumps on them. You're not gonna have a 90 strength bump, you're not gonna have an 80 strength bump, you're not even gonna have an 86 strength bump, I'm gonna be honest. But you still will have really good bumps with a 74 strength. And this will still allow you to blow by a lot of people because a lot of people still don't put strength even on their lockdown bills. It's that simple. Now, when it comes to the 13 finishing, you're gonna have an 86 driving nut that's gonna allow you to get content us, but also you're gonna have limitless takeoffs. That's another thing that the six nines kinda have. You can get this as a tier two. So you can now have slowly finisher and limitless takeoff, and you can just core this and then use whatever you wanted like that. You can't really do that. You gotta core limitless takeoff and use the rest on posterizer but then you will have one left over to go and use on tier one and tier two if you want to use pro touch fearless finisher acrobat giant slayer that's really on you um you only have a 79 layup you could get that up one more and get like a lot of the layup package that you could have got on the last build but i think we'll take the 85 three ball over 82 where you'll be able to have silver agent threes as a tier two not as a tier three like on a six seven but just like on a six nine you do have that as a tier two but you do have the ability to not have silver and limitless range which none of the bills had besides this one then you have a 72 layup with a 70 pass accuracy kind of do want to have a 75 pass accuracy like the lebron for the lebron james but it is what it is you have an 89 ball handle strictly so you can have hall of fame quick first step with a 75 speed ball really really good in my opinion i actually do think this does have the highest acceleration as well out of all three of the builds so that's another great one um but you could probably go up and wait on it if you did want to. I think I ended up making this initially to have an 80 spill ball, but I didn't actually go with that. So you could pretty much just go for the weight that would allow you to have 92 perimeter defense, but also having the ability to have a 75 spill ball. I know if you go too high on a um, weight on this build, it won't allow you to have a 92 perimeter defense, but you could just copy it as I also have it as well. It's not that big of a deal if you do want to have that 80 acceleration, which is why I didn't change it because the 80 acceleration is a great thing to have to go alongside the fact that you do have Hall of Fame quick for steps so you can get really the best speed boost out of all three of the builds on this list. Now, you have a 74 interior defense to play hands up defense. Not the craziest, but it will get the job done. I will say that. Not as consistent as the 6-9. I, I, I made a video over the big man builds. I do feel a significant difference on how much you make people miss on a 6-9. Even if you get less contest on a 6-9 than you do on a 6-8. People just make more stuff on builds shorter than 6-9s. People make more stuff on builds taller than 6-9s, honestly, in my opinion. I don't know. 6-9s is just kind of glitched, in my opinion, from the hands-up defense aspect. I don't know why. But, yeah. When it comes to actually being a lockdown, though, you have great attributes. Pretty much the same as the... Um, the 6 7 you have a 92 speed defense to have the the gold clamps and gold challenger but you also do get alongside that menace hall of fame workhorse off ball ankle braces but you do have a 95 steel to have interceptor and glove and like i said earlier you do get that as a tier two unlike the 6 7 where you had that as a tier three and then you have 88 block to be able to have chase down silver anchor which is really good and yeah and then you have a 66 rebound 74 strength that's gonna like have like brick wall box out beast 80 speed is like the minimum i want to have 80 vertical is like the minimum i want to have to go alongside the block rating and then defense rebound just to get more 
uh, just rebounds and just get more blocks and just get better animations in general for both of those. I'm going to be real. Having a high vertical is very, very underrated in this game. I don't know why, but it is. And I already went over strength and 90 stamina. Takeovers, we're going to end up with slasher, sharp, block now, and rim takeover. Really still the same option as the last one. And those are the four best options you can possibly get on a two-way build like these builds that I'm going for on this list. So that's honestly perfect. But again, um, I'm going to go with this. But you really do get the great options that you want to have if you're going for a build like this. I'm going to be honest. You do get the paint intimidation. You do get the stuff blocks. You do get the extreme clamps. All that stuff if you want that as options. But yeah, the build comes out as 72 shades of like the same ones as the 6-7. The build comes out as though a two-way three-point shot creator which i honestly think is the same one as the six seven but yeah that's going to be the builds for the best two-way builds it's only three early in the year people got on me for putting uh five but i hopefully didn't put five on this i only put three i didn't mean to do that early in the year i didn't do that for clickbait i just accidentally did that it's just that sick. but yeah that's gonna be in this video if you guys want more videos like this Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Put in comments down below what other stuff well, that you guys want me to rank deals wise. If there is nothing else, just, just don't put it in the comments. That's it. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Like the video. Subscribe to me. Turn on notifications. Be the first time the video. Share the video. Anybody can help. Well, further ado, man. It's your boy Fitz. And I have to be mad. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!